Hey guys, how's it going? Shane with Eastman Insurance, and today we are answering the question, does my auto insurance policy cover the aftermarket rims and tires I put on my car? What about the custom stereo system that I put in? What about custom paint? It's a fantastic question that I wish people asked more frequently because, let's face it, we live in California, the car customization capital of the world, uh, however, many people are not ans asking the questions, and as such, after loss, they find out, hey man, I'm short, it's not going to be reimbursed, and it, it just leads to an overall poor claims experience um, just because people don't understand how their insurance policies work. Part of the reason that we're running this video series is just so we can fill you guys in, clue you in on what makes your insurance policies tick. Uh, so... Whether or not you put the equipment on, you may have bought your car customized, or you may do it yourself, um, your unendorsed insurance policy is not structured to cover those items. Um, some preferred insurance policies will have minimal, and by minimal, I mean $2,000 or less, coverage for, hey, my stereo went out and I went and put a Kenwood in or I curb shot my rims and I just picked up a cheap pair of rims and tires from Les Schwab. Um, it, that's, that's really what it is built to, to cover. Now, if you, if you went down and you dropped $4,000 on some rims and tires to make your car look good, uh, or you went over and you, uh, you dropped six grand on a new stereo system, or you went down to Technicolor and saw my buddy, uh, Tommy and got a, 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 a brand new pimped out paint job, um, you have to let your insurance company know, hey, my car is customized. What do I need to do to get this covered? So if something happens, if my, if my custom paint job gets keyed and the paint is so intrinsic that they have to paint the whole car to match, what do I need to do to get that covered? Um, hey man, I dropped, like I said, I dropped six grand on my stereo or $4,000 on my rims. And if they get stolen, I come out and my car's on blocks. How do I get that replaced? And so doing so, you're calling your insurance agent. You're saying, hey, I've got these customizations. I've done this aftermarket. Uh, what do I need to do to cover it? There's a couple different ways that you can do it. And your insurance agent will explain, uh, but you need to get that covered. Otherwise, you're just going to be reimbursed or you're just going to be repaired to the way that that car rolled off of the showroom floor. I hope this helps. I hope this answers the question. Uh, and, and the overall purpose of doing these videos is that we want to lessen the blow. We want to, we want to educate you. We want to let you know how your insurance contract works so that when it is fulfilled, you have a positive experience. Hope this helps. If not, if you have other questions, you're not really sure about how something works, listen, don't hesitate. Pick up the phone, shoot us an email, give us a call, stop by the office, and, uh, and ask your questions. That's what we're here for, client or not. We're here to be of value, answer your questions, and teach you about how insurance works. That's it from here, and we're going to see you on the next one.